Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in the 5 minutes or less series. This is going to be about metals, non-metals, and metalloids on the periodic table. It's going to be pretty quick, so here we go. The metals are separated from the non-metals by a zigzag line on the periodic table right here. And it's always located in the same spot. Sometimes you'll see it called a stair-step pattern. But that's going to be your separation. So anywhere to the left of it are the metals and anywhere to the right of it are the non-metals. There are some exceptions. The metalloids are found pretty much around the line, so the seven that you see circled right there are called metalloids, and these exhibit properties of a metal and a non-metal. So this video is just going to be focused on what are the properties of a metal and a non-metal and a metalloid. So we're going to start with metals. Metals, they conduct electricity very, very well, so we use them in a lot of wires and technology. They get very hot, they conduct heat very well. They have luster, which sort of looks like a shine to them. That's what luster means. Only some metals are magnetic. So we do say metals can be magnetic, but not every single metal is a magnet. They are malleable. This means that they can be hammered into different shapes, and we use the shapes for different functions. They are ductile, which means they can be drawn out into really long wire. This is really useful for running any sort of cables or electricity around our planet. And like we said in the previous video, all metals are going to be solid except our favorite element, mercury, which is going to be liquid at room temperature. Now for the non-metals, they're going to be pretty much the opposite of what we just said. They are bad conductors of electricity, and this is actually a good quality because we use them as insulators, so we protect ourselves from the electric, like maybe rubber around a wire. They are poor conductors of heat, which means, again, this is good because we can take a piece of cardboard or something like that and put it around our hot coffee to keep our hand from burning. They are brittle, which means they break and crumble up very easily, and this is also a useful property in a lot of cases. Many of them are a gas, like oxygen, and they don't have luster, they are very, very dull. Now our metalloids, which are those seven that we said are in between, they have some characteristics of metal and some of non-metals. Now this is really useful because we build a lot of electronics out of these. Um, they're semiconductors, which means under some conditions they can carry electricity, but some they might not, so we can use them in different um, electronics to turn on and turn off in, in different ways. And that's it for metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.